Hey guys, it's CryptoXD here with another video and today I'll be sharing an exciting opportunity for you to be potentially earning yourself some airdrops, okay? But there is no guarantee that there will be any airdrops, alright? This is just purely speculation and today the project we'll be talking about is Old Baby Games, okay? I mentioned on my Twitter that I wanted to share a hidden gem and Old Baby Games is a company that is being developed in Singapore that raised 6 million okay, from the likes of Eager Capital and even Twitch themselves. Alright, and over on this page, Crypto Rank, it says that you know it's a crypto gaming platform. Alright, and it plans to launch cross-game collectibles as part of its rollout strategy and launch these games in 2023. Okay, so I think the focus is also mentioning crypto here. Okay, but apparently, alright, if you go into their Discord or if you look on their Twitter page, alright, there is no mention of blockchain or anything. Okay, and I think something interesting to note is that Old Baby Games has a track record for surprising their users. Okay, so even though they didn't mention blockchain anywhere over here, but I do think that they are blockchain based project that is being supported by Twitch right now and I do see them launching their tokens in the future okay and why do I think they will launch their tokens is this okay just imagine all right if you have invested in stocks all right why do stocks want to go IPO is because they know that's where most of the profit is being made okay and it's the same for old baby games all right if they position themselves to be on the blockchain all right even though they are kind of a bit sneaky okay they kind of a bit stealth and they don't really share a lot uh, with regards to blockchain but I do think there will be a lot of up and coming surprises and even if you look at their store okay if they are not a blockchain based project why would they launch limited edition packages right 500 500 500 so a lot of these packages are limited edition and once sold out they will never be uh, sold again okay and currently they have a lunar new year bundle that is going on and this bundle is also limited edition and will end very soon okay so even though all of these are not nfts yet i do think that you'll be able to mint them as nfts in the future okay again but this is just all my speculation all right if you go to old baby games you will see that they are actually developing two games right now shogun curse and old baby card Okay, so Shogun Curse, I believe, is still in alpha. They are still doing a lot of testing. If you want to participate, you just uh, go to this link and you just key in your email address and you can start trying this game out. So this game is very similar to Slay the Spire. Okay, it's kind of like a card-based system and I believe it's like a roach like game. And then for Old Baby Kart, it's, uh, it's a racing game. And the game is very similar to Mario Kart. Okay, so the game is a lot of fun. I, I've played over 10 hours in this game. And I will tell you honestly, even if there is no airdrops, I would still spend time playing the game because the game is fantastic. It's very well polished. There isn't any bugs so far. And currently, it's in the closed beta phase. Okay, so you can get a closed beta invite code simply by just registering your email in the homepage. All right, and registering for an account. Okay, so I already registered for an account and then you can download the game engine over here. All right, so that's pretty much it for Old Baby Games. Okay, so let's dive right into the gameplay itself. Okay, so let's dive into the game itself and talk a little bit about the mechanics and what are some of the things that you can do to earn yourself potentially NFT rewards. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the weekly quest. So every week there is a quest that you can complete or I would say there is a series of quests okay and for this week is reaching game score okay so the higher game score you get the more exp and the more loot boxes you can get as well as this thing called bp okay so there is different tier rewards so the more games you win the more games you play the higher score you get the more xp rewards you get okay and for the second thing is daily quests okay so every day all right you have three daily quests that you can complete to receive XP and BP rewards okay so XP is required for better pass so if you see the better pass over here you can see okay there is a ton of rewards that you can win all right premium rewards and normal rewards that you can win for just playing the game and getting XP okay as you can see I'm already level 18 
Alright, you can get up to level 64 and I believe every season lasts for 2 months, 2 to 3 months, okay? So you have a ton of time to kind of earn the rewards that you see here. Okay, so far the rewards that I've earned are not tradable. Alright, if you go to the shop, you can see, or sorry, you go to the market, you can see that I have 140 BP and you can see that a lot of things are currently being sold in the market right now, alright, for BP. Okay, so BP is like the premium currency in the game where you can use it to purchase uh, items that are sold here, okay? And even though I've already earned myself some items and some rewards, but if you look at switch to selling, okay, apparently my rewards are not tradable. Okay, so I'm not sure how you can receive tradable rewards, but I assume that, you know, the higher your BP level is, the higher chances for you to receive rewards that can actually be tradable and can be sold for this premium currency called BP okay and there is really a ton of items to buy right now if you switch to buy you can see they have a uh, they have loot boxes all right that you can purchase using BP they have cards as well that you can purchase using BP they have characters as well that you can purchase using BP so there is a ton of skins that you can buy using BP so BP is a very important and crucial reward in the ecosystem Alright, so if you're interested in farming this, definitely come in to complete the daily quest which can earn you 15 BP every single day. Okay, but you know when I started this game out, it's really difficult to play because for you to complete the quest, you need to win a Grand Prix. And in Grand Prix, you are going up against 11 other opponents. Alright, to kind of get the top position. Alright, and in Grand Prix, there is actually 4 different uh, races. Alright, you have to score the most points to win the Grand Prix. So if you come in second, alright, you will not complete this quest. You have to come in first out of 12 people to kind of complete this quest. So you have to be good at racing to be able to complete this quest. Alright, and of course, the more you play, the better you will get with racing. And I will leave some tips in the description box below for you guys to get good at this game. Okay, for Race Royale, it's just uh, a single race. Alright, this is a race. Grand Prix is a four race competition okay and all of these can earn you game score which will help you to complete your weekly quest okay so over at the hero section there are a ton of characters that you can pick all right each character have different abilities all right for example this person called Zack Zack has chain lightning you know system overload and homing detection all right and then for the card section you will see there are a ton of things that you can do to customize your uh, you know your card so you can see this is my card right now it okay, looks pretty cool, alright. There is a ton of things that you can do to customize your card, alright. All these are skins, and no, they are not NFT yet, but in the future, they could be NFT, alright, for all we know. Okay, and then, you know, when you go to shop, alright, shop is the one that I showed you in the earlier, alright, in the home page. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Alright, so let's dive into, uh, you know, I'll be playing a Grand Prix to show you guys, alright, how the gameplay actually works. Okay, so over at the Grand Prix section, alright, I won't be commenting itself because I'm very bad at multitasking. I'll just be focusing on the game. Alright, so enjoy some good gameplay. Alright, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
justice and first place.
Justice and first place.